the minute I read uh, the script, I was uh, trembling in fear and also laughing out loud uh, and also crying and uh, shaking, standing. I actually stood for half the read. Uh, I stood up somewhere mid script and I was like, oh man, oh goodness, oh gross. And then I was like, flip, oh no, there's more. Oh, there's more. It was kind of like that, you know? Uh, I got so excited about it. Um, and Abed is such a fun character to play, you know? When the, sc when the breakdown for your character is he finds everything genuinely, genuinely intriguing, it's like, oh, how fun is that? Like, you could look at that bottle of water and be like, oh, my God. Abed is uh, a student at Greendale Community College. Um, he's eager, a little frenetic. Um, there's um, there's a way that humans interact with each other. And there's kind of the the normal way that you see, and then there's the Abed way, where it's, uh, socially he maybe doesn't pick up on cues as, as as good as people. Like you know, if you shake your hand here, Abed might shake up here. You know, um, I might stare at you for a little too long. You know, and the fun thing about Abed is he lives in this world. Uh, he lives in his own little world. You know, where he's uh, doesn't have really a filter. He speaks really quickly. Um, he sees it and he says it. You know, he doesn't really think about what he's saying. He just likes to have a good time. But he's eager to connect and make friends, and that's what he's here for. He wants to connect and make friends at Greendale Community College. What's going on with that? Uh, I don't think there's any lines here. Um, Abed uh, tends to wear um, like colored, you know, sweatshirts and fun T-shirts, really tight pants. I had to get used to that. There was an adjustment period when they were like, "Hey, Danny, come in for your costume fitting," and and then I had to get in these really tight pants. And my genitalia ended up being somewhere like in this region after I put on the pants. Now I kind of enjoy it because it's kind of like a fun thing every day when I'm like, "Whoa." So uh, there's a little bit of that, um, the wardrobe and, and this world. I think uh, Abed is a, is a pop culture junkie, and I'm somewhat of that. I think he's a little bit more uh, in tune with what's going on everywhere in terms of film, music, that kind of thing. And uh, I certainly like love 80s music, love 80s films. So that was kind of fun to, to really start exploring that whole era again because there's so many gems like, you know, Indiana Jones and Goonies and all these things that I grew up with that I loved, you know. Uh, Abed speaks a little more quickly than I speak. Um, what else happens with Abed? Abed, how much more? How much faster? What are you saying? Huh? So my first monologue, the opening scene, is uh, me going up to uh, Joe McHale's character, Jeff Winger, who I have this kind of admiration for. He's this guy who comes into this college, and I'm like, wow, this guy's like a man. He doesn't care. He's like, people like him. He's cool. He's hip. He's tall. He's got great hair. He's got, he has like fantastic eyebrows. I was like, I want to be this guy, you know, bigger legs than me, like strong, muscular. And so I go up to him. He basically asks me what time it is. And from then, I give him like two minutes of like my whole life story. I say, um, hi, I'm only half Palestinian. I'm actually half Arabic. My dad uh, is a U.S. citizen. Uh, a lot of people want to know that after they meet him because because he has an angry energy, but not like angry at America, angry at my mom for leaving him, although she lived because he was angry, and he was angry because she's American. My name's Abed, by the way. And I go through this whole thing, and he's like, what was the time again? And uh, it's like one of these things where it's like the minute I connect with somebody, if they give, if you give me like a, you know, even some eye contact, I, I want to be in your world, and it's going to be hard to get rid of me. What happens is we form this study group, but then it's it's a little chaotic in the beginning, and, and everyone starts to argue, and I'm trying to fit in too, and I, I'm seeing all the arguing, and I'm like, how do I fit in here? How do I fit in here? And the only way I could figure this out is by jumping in with a breakfast club speech, because I'm like, oh, this is that moment where everyone is like stuck together like in detention, and and I try to put it together, like, how could I relate here? How could I connect here? And I find it in breakfast club in the Judd Nelson speech, you know? I didn't have the gloves, the cutoff gloves. I'm thinking about bringing those back, though. Um, and of course, uh, that kind of, I jump in and, you know, once again, they don't get me. The great thing is, is that this is a Spanish study group, so we do have to meet, you know. Uh, and so I think that there's going to be, uh, w you know, consistent meetings once a week or whatever it is. Uh, we go actually to Spanish class, which is pretty exciting. Our Spanish teacher is Ken Jung, who is hilarious. Give me some more time and a dream.